Are you making the right choice for your tea? And could your tea drinking habits be impacting your health? Find out here on 5 o'clock tea if sugar or sweeteners are better for you. Sugar, the age-old favorite, and artificial sweeteners, the modern-day solution. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison. Firstly, taste. Sugar undoubtedly provides a more natural sweetness that many people love. It complements the flavors of tea, enhancing its taste. On the other hand, artificial sweeteners can sometimes have a slightly different taste, described as artificial by some, which might not be to everyone's liking. Next, calories. Sugar is calorically dense. A teaspoon of sugar contains around 16 calories. For those counting calories, artificial sweeteners are virtually calorie-free. Now to blood sugar. Sugar can cause rapid spikes in blood sugar levels, which isn't ideal for people with diabetes. Artificial sweeteners, like stevia or sucralose, don't impact blood sugar in the same way. On to weight management. Because they are low in calories, artificial sweeteners have often been favored by those looking to manage their weight. Sugar, when consumed in excess, can contribute to weight gain. Next, some health concerns. There have been debates about the long-term health effects of artificial sweeteners. Some studies have raised concerns, although regulatory bodies have approved them as safe for consumption. Sugar, in contrast, is known to be a contributing factor to health issues like obesity and dental problems when consumed excessively. Then we have shelf life. Sugar has an indefinite shelf life. You can store it for years without worrying about spoilage. Artificial sweeteners, on the other hand, do have a shelf life and can lose their sweetness over time or if exposed to certain conditions like high humidity. Last of all, aftertaste. Some people detect an aftertaste with certain artificial sweeteners, like aspartame. It can be a bit off-putting to those sensitive to it. Sugar typically doesn't leave an aftertaste. Now, let's explore some common artificial sweeteners in more detail. Saccharin, discovered in the late 19th century, saccharin was the first artificial sweetener. It's incredibly sweet, about 300 to 500 times sweeter than sugar. You might have seen it as those pink packets. Aspartame, introduced in the 1980s, aspartame is found in many diet sodas and low-calorie products. It's not suitable for cooking or baking at high temperatures due to its instability. Sucralose, this newcomer, introduced in the late 1990s, is heat-stable and often used in baking. You'll find it in those yellow packets. Stevia, derived from the stevia plant, stevia is considered a more natural option among artificial sweeteners. It's increasingly popular, especially in natural and health food stores. So, there you have it, the sugar versus artificial sweetener debate. Whether you choose sugar, artificial sweeteners, or decide to skip them altogether, it all boils down to your personal preference and health goals. Keep experimenting, savor the flavors, and make the choice that suits you best. And remember, there's no one-size-fits-all answer. That's a wrap for today's discussion on the sweeteners for your tea. I hope you found this comparison helpful. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you did, subscribe to our channel for more tea-related content, and hit that notification bell to stay updated. Until next time, keep sipping and exploring the wonderful world of tea. Cheers!